What is up guys, it is Nisho here and we are here reviewing the 10 ultra rares from Pendulum Evolution. Now, so Pendulum Evolution, which uh, I did show uh, the supers of earlier this week, um, had their ultras revealed as well and um, honestly it was a bit weird because um, the ultras are the only new cards in the set. So none of the supers are new cards, all the supers are reprints, and all the ultras are the new cards. Now, this is especially weird because this was originally a structure deck. So, you know, you would think that, you know, having something where, you know, it will be $10 for every single magician card in this set being changed to where every single one of them is an ultra is, like, really ruins the accessibility of uh the set because now you know it's going to be harder to get you know multiple copies of some of these cards now being the fact that this is one of those hidden arsenal type sets but there's only 10 ultra rares instead of 20 um it makes the ultra rares easier to get because um it works like where there's four supers and one ultra rare in like every pack right so being that there's 10 ultra rares instead of 20, you have more of a chance to get whatever ultra you need. So that means, you know, in, in a singular booster box, you would have more copies of, you know, certain ma magician cards rather than if it were like 20 ultra rares. And uh, honestly, I think it it, it kind of balances out the, the reason why, um, you know, they're ultra rares. I, I guess it does make them prettier and uh, they do have some crazy effects, but uh, yeah, uh, we're just looking here at uh, the two Astrograph and Chronograph Sorcerers. Um, it's the two new best cards in the, in, the, in the whole Magician archetype, pretty much, and they're not even Magician Pendulum cards, which is the funniest part. It's like they're two of the best cards in Magicians, but they're not searchable because they're not um, magician pendulum monsters um, and then the next four are the um, four magician monsters uh, based off of the dimension dragons so black fang is based off a of dark rebellion uh, white wing is based off a of crystal wing iris is based off of odd eyes and violet poison is based off of starving venom and uh, they all have some crazy pendulum effects and some crazy monster effects that I'll definitely go into more into another video and uh, next we have Pendulum Graph of Ages and Pendulum Graph of Space Time the confirmed names of the spell and chop cards of the um, Pendulum Magician archetype and uh, they're really really good honestly it's like <laughs> I find it so crazy that magicians get support this good or Pendulum Magicians anyway you can you like you you can try mixing it with uh, dark magicians and I did try as well. It's 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 kind of a hard mix because there are times where um, the cards kind of contradict each other. Like sometimes you need a pendulum and you only have dark magician, or you only have the ebony illusion magician, uh, the level six one. I forgot her name. Oh, uh, ebony apprentice magician, and um, it doesn't always work out, but uh, it definitely does have a bit of synergy, um, if any. So, Star Time Magician, the new Exceed for uh, Pendulum Magicians, it can only be summoned using Pendulum Magician monsters, but it does search Dark Spellcasters. Um, it is, yeah, uh, you can add one Dark Spellcaster um, type monster from your, so either a Pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, or a Dark Spellcaster monster from your deck or graveyard to your uh well, you can either send it to your hand or mill it to your graveyard. Oh wait, no. It's just sent to your hand. It's, it's, it's not. It's not mailed to the grave. You can add it to your hand from the deck of grave. And last, we have Harmonizing Magician, which is a, which is a new tuner for the Magician Pendulums. Um, you know, uh, en Enlightenment Paladin does still get you back a spell card if you use. Um, a non-tuner pendulum magician monster so 
Um, it definitely is pretty crazy. Uh, the synergy that can work with this deck. Uh, she definitely does have a uh, just like every pendulum tuner monster. She has some weird, stupid restrictions, um, and that make her like kind of mediocre. But honestly, eh, she's not that bad either. Um, but you know, again, like these cards would have been better if this were a structure deck. But so this being a set. Um, it, it just makes it feel so weird because you know it's like this this was supposed to be something that was that, that should have been easy to get and now with them being ultras it's gonna definitely raise their prices a bit and it's definitely gonna um, make it more of a hassle to pick up all these cards or multiple copies of all these cards um, but yeah I, I guess we'll uh, see how that goes when we come to it but uh, I guess that's all for now I'm gonna be doing a set dissection of the set but not in in the way that I would normally do it because um, normally I would have like five or six episodes of like different archetypes to talk about in the set but honestly all, all the reprints are so all the supers are reprints and all of that is straightforward I already talked about that in the leaked video so what I'm just going to do with this one is I'm just going to cut it up into two parts um, about the new cards in the set. And yeah, I, I guess that's it. So this was Nishiro here. Nishiro out.